In this video, we are going to take a quick look at Project North, which is how your Revit views by default, you will find they are oriented in your project and True North, which you can see in this project exactly how it looks as a finished product once it's been rotated to reflect what is the survey's True North. So let's get started. We're going to take a look at Project North and True North here in Revit. In the project that I'm gonna use for today's example, I want us to take a look at the site plan and for comparison of the Project North and True North for the project. By default, in your Revit project, you will see that Project North, if you look over in your project view properties under orientation, you'll see Project North is the default. And so I just want, for comparison, we're going to create two views to study Project North and True North and the differences today. So I'm going to rename this site plan site Project North. And then we're going to duplicate this view with detailing. And I'm going to rename that True North site True North. Okay, so now we have both of these views set up to study the concept. And I want to show you the differences. So first, let's click on the Project North. And we just looked at the orientation is set to Project North, which means our view is just oriented as you see it here. And then let's click on the True North. And let's take the orientation here, and we're going to change this drop down to True North. Now, let me establish for you based on the survey that I have for this project. Let me just go to our annotate tab and we're going to click on the symbol and I'm going to insert a north arrow in this site plan and I'm going to rotate it after placement. So here we are and roughly I'll need to rotate this one more time. Let me get it accurate. But north is roughly, this is close enough for our example, but north on this pro in this project is oriented in this direction. So for this true north site plan, what I want us to do is we're gonna come up here to manage and under the project location, you'll see position. And this allows us to relocate or rotate our project north and true north. So the first thing I want us to do, let's look at something that I want to point out to you very quickly. If these symbols are not turned on in your site plan by default, I do want to quickly show you how to get to them. So let me just zoom out. If I go to visibility graphics and hit edit, you need to come down where you see the site. And if I just check that box under the site, you'll see project base point and survey point. We want to make sure both of these check boxes are on to have the visibility of these two graphics. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select, and as I'm hovering over, pay close attention to the project base point, but I'm going to select this project base point and you'll need to unclip it. If you don't unclip it, it will attempt to move every single building element that you've modeled so far. And what I'm going to do for this example is just get that project base point moved to the corner of the existing building that I have here. For this project, I have two additions going on. And that just allows us to see both the project point here, and then this is our survey point. And the survey point is the one that we're going to want to rotate to accurately depict north for our survey. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to come up here to position and rotate true north. And if I just pick on this now and rotate it following the north arrow that we had laid in here, you'll now see more accurate shadows for this project. And I can just go ahead and manipulate the extents of our view once again to just kind of lay out all that's included in this project in the site plan. 
but you'll see that one of the reasons we use Project North, and if I go back and toggle back on that view, is just for the way that it lays out a lot easier and cleaner on our sheets. But this True North site plan more accurately depicts the site as you would see the sun rotate about it, um, which is around that south face of the building. So these shadows are going to be much more accurate as architects and designers interested in studying shadow and how it is going to affect your building and how things are visually going to look. It's very important to be able to know how to get those shadows to appear more accurately in your project. So if you noticed in the Project North, it's not as accurate of a depiction of the shadows because North is not oriented properly. So you'll see it actually, those shadows exist along the exterior wherein in fact, True North shows us when we rotate the project to accurately de depict True North, you'll see those shadows actually occur in the front, which is important to me as I'm laying out this project because I sh I'll, I'll show you a quick view from the exterior and these views actually show you this is my vestibule I'm doing a new church edition and a social hall and by default when it's not based on the proper orientation which I will remind you that if you look in the view for our 3D view, we don't have the option to actually modify our project to reflect true north for the shadows in our perspective. But from here, I can show you that we would want to also know that, hey, those shadows, there are other ways to play around with um, exactly how the shadows are cast in perspective. But for the intentions of this video, I just wanted to show you and focus on project and true north. So let's take a look at one more item. So I want to go to our south elevation for this view. And I wanted to take a look at the project and the survey point, remembering that there is a Z value that we want to take a look at. So let's just go to visibility graphics. We're going to come down to site and you'll see our project base point and our survey point. Let's just check to add those for visibility. And although this is just a one story project and there's very little change in the elevation in this project that I'm working on, I do want to point out to you that we can select this project base point. And as we select that base point, we actually do have the option to change the elevation for the project base point. So although I've set this to zero, if I wanted to set this project base point, to be, say this is actually elevation 300. Well, we do have the option of modifying that here. So if I just take this project base point and I'll select move. Now we do want to make sure that this is unclipped. So I'm going to select it, but you can see that it is, it is unclipped. And I'm just going to move that down. Let's just go with 100 feet. So as I move that down 100 feet, you'll now see without any modification to our levels, we do in fact now have the right elevation listed for each one of these floor plans. And I think that this is an important tip to show you as you'll find from time to time that you'll have projects that you may want to match your floor elevations with the survey elevations and so forth. And that would be the way that we would want to do it. And if we needed to modify that, we would just go ahead and move this survey point or this project base point, I'm sorry. If we just click on that and move that back up the 100 feet that we moved it down, you'll see that our levels respond as well. Go back to the original elevations that are our project base ones. And the same goes for the survey. I hope this video has been helpful for you in better understanding how to rotate your projects to reflect true north as we have done here, as well as how to move the project base point and how to rotate the survey point as well. 
Thanks, and please remember to subscribe for more videos like these.